Hello, Unicorn friends. Welcome back to Unicorn Book Club. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Swap novel by Megan, a novel by Megan Schull, and it's the inspiration for the Disney Channel original movie, The Swap. So I'm really excited. I saw the movie and it's amazing, and I decided to read the book, and it's also amazing. So, so this book is about a girl and a boy, Elle and Jack, who think that the other, per uh, the opposite gender, has an easier life. Then they magically switch lives, and then they start realizing that the other, that they had a better life when they were themselves. And so they have to work together to find a way to switch back. The Swap is a novel with 383 pages and 56 chapters. The title of the chapters change between Ellie and Jack to show the different perspectives of the story. After chapter number 56, the book doesn't end there. There are two there are two more chapters that don't have numbers but they represent 5 months later and 3 years later. Here are some facts about Megan Schull. She is author of many books for kids including The Swap, which is this one, Bounce, Amazing Grace, etc. and she lives in New York. How cool is that? She holds a doctorate in educational educational psychology. I didn't know that. That's really cool actually. And Finally, now is a little taste of the book. Chapter 7, Ellie. As soon as I wake up on the first day of school, I begin tearing through my closet, trying to find something, anything, to wear that doesn't make me look like I'm still asleep with my teddy bear. I do. No matter what I try on, I just look in the mirror at night and think I look dumb. I strip it off and try something else, but I feel like I look terrible in everything. Plus, I hear Sassy's voice of running fashion commentary in my head. That yellow shirt? Ugh, gross. You look like a walking highlighter. Flared jeans? So not okay. Leggings? Leggings are not pants. When it comes to fashion, I have no clue. I mean, when, this, when did this suddenly become such a huge deal? Nobody cared about this stuff before we got to Thatcher. I have no idea how you're supposed to look stylish and cool. Before this summer, I never even cared. But now, suddenly, one hour before I am officially in seventh grade, I care. I care, and I hate that I care. Chapter 8, Jack. It's practically a known fact, almost a solid rule, that Malloy men do not speak to each other until breakfast. That means that... During our 5 a.m. bed check, hospital corners, sheets tucked in, perfectly smooth blanket, our three miles still dark out run, our strength and conditioning session in the cage, more often than not, nobody says a word. It's work and we do it. Effort is a measure of a man, my dad likes to say. And breakfast? No junk food, no lucky charms, no fruit loops, no cocoa puffs, only whole grains, lean proteins, greens, fruit, and nuts. Welcome to the Malloy training table. Fruit, egg white omelets, oatmeal, and my dad's famous morning smoothie. Fish oil, peanut butter, almond milk, spinach, blueberries, wheatgrass, raw eggs, and frozen banana. Yep. Food is for fuel and performance, for power, not pleasure. Your body is a temple, says the captain. You don't take Pop-Tarts in a temple into a temple, do you? I would if I could. That's what I, I wish I had the guts to say back. Okay, so now that you guys have just seen a few clips of the pages, and, well, I would show you guys my favorite, my favorite part, as usual, but my favorite part is in the end, and it's kind of a spoiler, like a big spoiler, so I'm not going to do that. I want you guys to read it, and then I might tell you guys what my favorite part is but now it's time for the reviews I'm gonna give it a five out of five because I really like the movie now how does that tie into this if you remember carefully it says inspiration for the Disney Channel original movie the swap so this book was the inspiration for the movie <laughs> it just imagine this is the inspiration for the movie and this is and the movie was really good and then I read this and this is really good so no wonder the movie was really good and no wonder the book is really good so I give it a five out of five you know, and anyway, you guys that's the end of it so I'll, I'll see you when I flip to the next page bye